Hello and welcome to Mastermind and the first of the semi-finals with me, Clive Meyer. In the spotlight tonight are Rashid Mumtaz, an accountant. His specialist subject is Charlie Chaplin. Richard Brooks, a PhD student. He'll be answering questions on the Sydney Harbour Bridge. Sarah Thornton, a solicitor, whose specialist subject is the BAFTA-winning television drama series Happy Valley. And Jane Hill, a university lecturer. Her subject, the American tennis player Billie Jean King. Where did the time go? In the blink of an eye, our contenders were simply hopefuls, determined to do their very best. Now their very best could see them grab a spot in the grand final, with a chance of lifting and taking home this wonderful mastermind glass bowl. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. No cigar or fine champagne just yet. Two minutes on their new specialist subject and two and a half minutes on general knowledge will be the final arbiter, and we wish our contenders well. So, can I ask our first semi-finalist to join us, please? Your name? Rashid Mumtaz. Your occupation? Accountant. And your specialist subject? Charlie Chaplin. The world-famous performer and pioneer of cinema. In two minutes, Let's go. In contract negotiations with the Keystone Film Company, Chaplin famously told the director, Max Sennett, all I need to make a comedy is a park, a policeman, and a what? Pretty girl. Yes, Chaplin's iconic Little Tramp character was developed early in his career and made his final big screen outing in what 1936 feature film? Modern times. Yes. After their mother was admitted to Cane Hill Asylum, Chaplin and his half-brother, Sidney, were sent to live with Charlie's father, Charles Chaplin Sr., and his mistress, who had what first name? Louise. Yes. Chaplin said he made his first stage appearance at the age of five at what theatre in Aldershot, which he described as a grubby, mean theatre catering mostly to soldiers? Uh, Her Majesty's. No, the canteen. In late 1914, Chaplin joined what film company that had studios in Chicago and Niles, California, where he first worked with his regular leading lady, Edna Purviance? SNA. Yes, of which of his four wives did Chaplin write? I could never reach her mind. It was cluttered with pink ribboned foolishness. Lita Gray? No, Mildred Harris. Around 1900, the young Chaplin appeared as a cat in Cinderella at the London Hippodrome alongside which renowned clown whom Chaplin says appeared on stage in sloppy evening dress and an opera hat? Pass. In his 1940 film satire, The Great Dictator, Chaplin plays the dual roles of the title character Adenoid Hinkle and the Jewish veteran soldier with what main occupation? Barber. Yes, the 1915 film A Night in the Show was adapted from a sketch famously performed under what title in Britain during Chaplin's earlier days as an actor in Fred Carnot's touring company? The Mummingbirds? Yes, the making of which 1928 feature film was affected by a gale, a studio fire and legal battles arising from Chaplin's bitter divorce from his second wife, Lita Gray? City Lights? No, the circus. Rashid, you had just the one pass. That clown who appeared with the young Chaplin around 1900 on stage, Marceline. And at the end of that round, Rashid, you've got six points. Thank you. Our next contender, please. Your name? Richard Brooks. Your occupation? PhD student. And your specialist subject? The Sydney Harbour Bridge. The Steel Arch Bridge opened in 1932, connecting central Sydney to its northern suburbs. In two minutes, let's go. Which engineer supervised the construction of Sydney Harbour Bridge on behalf of the New South Wales Government's Public Works Department, having first officially proposed building such a bridge in 1912? John Bradfield. Yes. What was the name of the English steel manufacturing company based in Middlesbrough that submitted the winning tender for the bridge? John and Long. Yes, the granite used to make the bridge's decorative pylons was obtained from a quarry in which coastal town, about 190 miles south of Sydney? Peru, yeah. Yes, what was the name of the Minister for Public Works and Railways in New South Wales who officially began construction of the bridge by digging into the ground at the so-called turning of the first sod ceremony in July 1923? R.T. Ball. Yes, 
which station's platforms 1 and 2, the former termini for southbound tram services over the bridge, fell into disuse when the bridge's tram tracks were removed in 1959? Winyard. Yes, in March 1929, which judge from the Commonwealth Arbitration Commission found in favour of the British workers in their call for increased pay, concluding that such an unusual service warranted unusual wages? BB. Yes, what was the name of the workman who survived the fall from the bridge in October 1930 after the force of the riveting gun he was using threw him off balance? Vince Kelly. Yes, in May 1973, a Frenchman named Philippe Petit performed what daring feat on the bridge before he was arrested by police? Tightrope walking. Yes, what was the name of the protester who at the bridge's opening ceremony rode a horse up to the ribbon and tried to cut it with a sword before the Premier of New South Wales, Jack Lang, could do so? Francis de Groot. Yes, which member of the indigenous Camilla Roy people set up an ultimately successful online petition in February 2017 to have the Aboriginal flag flown on the Sydney Harbour Bridge permanently? Poker? No, Cherie Toka. The two robots developed by the University of Technology, Sydney, to help maintain the bridge were given the names Sandy and Watt. Rosie. Yes, what was the name of the decorated flight lieutenant who, in October 1943, flew a Lancaster bomber under the bridge? Peter Isaacson. It was Peter Isaacson. So, Richard, at the end of that round, you had no passes, and you've got 11 points. <laughs> And our next contender, please. Your name? Sarah Thornton. Your occupation? Solicitor. And your specialist subject? Happy Valley. BAFTA winning crime drama series first shown in 2014, starring Sarah Lancashire as a police sergeant in West Yorkshire. In two minutes, let's go. At the start of the series, Sergeant Catherine Kaywood visits a local shop to get two items before confronting a man who's threatening to set fire to himself, a fire extinguisher, and what other item? A pair of sunglasses. Yes, the show's theme song, Trouble Town, by Jake Bug, features the line stuck in speed bump city, where the only thing that's pretty is the thought of what? Getting out. Yes, what's the first name of Catherine's colleague at the police station with whom she has dinner in the second series and who later organises a collection for Catherine's retirement? Joyce. Yes, when Catherine is giving her junior, Anne Gallagher, a pep talk on her first day at the police station, she advises her that if she finds herself on the wrong side of Inspector Taylor, he likes what sweets? Sherbet lemons. Yes, Catherine discovers that her colleagues have two unflattering nicknames for her and in a conversation between Anne Gallagher and two detectives, they're revealed as Brunhilde and what? Miss Trunchbull. Yes, what's the name of the newsagent shop where the violent criminal Tommy Lee Royce hides to change his clothes and disguise himself as a cyclist after escaping from court? Rico's newsagent. Yes, in conversation with Anne Gallagher about a murder inquiry, Catherine explains that New Jersey has the Sopranos, Halifax has... Whom? The Knezoviches. Yes, what's the name of the pub where Catherine has to arrest her sister Claire's drunken and topless boyfriend Neil after he's been accused of creating a disturbance and stealing food off people's plates? The Moorings. Yes, who directed the first three episodes of Happy Valley and was nominated for a BAFTA Television Craft Award for Best Director Fiction? Rosalyn. Yes, when discussing her retirement with Claire, Catherine dismisses Zumba and Pilates and describes what other activity as dangerous, claiming that when she tried it with work colleagues, they gave off enough methane to melt a polar ice cap. Yoga. Yes, what's the name of the school teacher who tells Catherine that her grandson Ryan has been throwing chairs across the room and using unacceptable language? Mrs. Mukherjee. Yes, the woman, Ilinka, who stays with Catherine's neighbour Winnie after escaping from a house. I've started so I'll finish. Escaping from a house up Peveril Lane had been trafficked from which European country? Croatia. It is Croatia. Sarah, you had no passes and you've got them all right. 12 points. Thank you. And our final contender, please. Your name? Jane Hill. Your occupation? University lecturer. And your specialist subject? Billie Jean King. Yeah, the American tennis star who won 12 Grand Slam singles titles in the 1960s and 70s and led the way in establishing women's tennis as a professional sport. In two minutes, 
Let's go. In order to pursue a career in tennis, Billie Jean King cut short her formal education, deciding in 1964 to leave the state college she was attending in which city? Uh, Los Angeles. Yes, at the age of just 18, King caused an upset in the second round of the 1962 Wimbledon Championships when she knocked out which player who was the number one seed? Margaret Court. Yes. In which church in Los Angeles did Billie Jean marry Larry King, her husband, for the next 22 years in September 1965? Church of the Brethren. Yes, first Church of the Brethren. In her final match as an amateur on the 30th of March 1968, King was beaten in three sets by her long-term rival Nancy Ritchie at what venue? Uh, the Los Angeles Tennis Club. No, Madison Square Garden. The 17-year-old King partnered which 18-year-old player to win the 1961 Wimbledon Ladies Doubles title to become the youngest doubles team to win a Wimbledon title? Karen Hansa. Yes. After she'd achieved a clean sweep of the ladies' singles, ladies' doubles and mixed doubles titles at the 1967 Wimbledon Championships, King was presented with a gift voucher worth how many pounds? 45. Yes. Which British fashion designer created the dress worn by King in the so-called Battle of the Sexes exhibition? match against Bobby Riggs in 1973. Ted Tinning. Yes, just before Wimbledon in June 1973, King and 64 other women tennis players agreed to form the WTA in a meeting at which hotel in London? Gloucester Hotel. Yes, in November 1973, King appeared before a US congressional subcommittee in support of what civil rights law which was enacted under the Education Amendments Law of 1972? Title IX. Yes, Ilana Kloss, whom King married in 2018, was partnering which fellow South African player when the pair beat King and Betty Stover in the quarterfinals of the women's doubles at the 1976 US Open? Linky Boschoff. Yes. What organization did King establish in San Francisco in 1974 to promote gender equality in American sport from grassroots up to professional level? Women's Sports Foundation. Yes, King won her only. I've studied so I'll finish. King won her only French Open title in 1972 by beating which Australian player in straight sets in the final? Yvonne Goulagong. It was Yvonne Goulagong. So, Jane, at the end of that round, you had no passes and you've got 11 points. Thank you. And at the end of the specialist subjects round in this semi-final, let's have a look at the scores. In fourth place with six points, it's Rashid. In joint second place with 11 points each, it's Richard and Jane. And in first place with 12 points, it's Sarah. So now, the general knowledge round. And if there's a tie at the end, then the number of passes is taken into account and the person with the fewer passes is the winner. And if they're tied on passes as well, it's a tie break. So let's ask Rashid to join us again, please. Rashid, you start with six points. You've now got two and a half minutes on general knowledge. Let's go. What is the second letter of the Greek alphabet corresponding to the English letter B? Beta. Yes. In 2003, which Essex-born actor and comedian began appearing as the permanent panellist on the television game show QI? Alan Davis. Yes. Which American atomic physicist is the subject of a 2023 biographical film starring Killian Murphy in the title role? J. Robert Oppenheimer. Yes. The zire is a red-skinned, yellow-fleshed variety of what vegetable? Tomato. No, potato. In a traditional nursery rhyme, which character was born on a Monday, died on Saturday and buried on Sunday? Solomon Grundy. Yes. Because of his religious devotion, the English king, who was canonised almost a century after his death in 1066, is known as Edward the what? Confessor. Yes, the Mouse King and Drosselmeyer are characters from what 1892 ballet by Tchaikovsky? Swan Lake. No, the Nutcracker. In 2023, which actress became the 18th person to achieve the so-called EGOT, winning Emmy, Grammy, Oscar and Tony Awards when she won a Grammy for the audiobook of her autobiography, Finding Me? Jennifer Hudson. No, Viola Davis, who wrote the elegiac poem in memoriam A.H.H., published in 1850 in memory of his friend Arthur Henry Hallam. Pass. The mineral gypsum, which is widely used in the construction industry, is a hydrated sulphate of which metallic chemical element? Pass. What Scottish island group is home to Solemn Vaux, one of the largest oil and gas terminals in Europe? Hebrides. No, Shetland. Life is a roller coaster, and if tomorrow never comes, were UK number one singles in the early 2000s for which Irish singer? 
Ronan Keating. Yes, which American City has a professional ice hockey team known as the Golden Knights, who in June 2023 beat the Florida Panthers to win the Stanley Cup for the first time. Las Vegas? Yes, which Italian politician adopted the title Il Duce, meaning the leader, in 1925, several years after becoming the head of the country's fascist movement. Mussolini? Yes, a museum opened in the Swiss capital Bern in 2005 is dedicated to the works of which artist who lived in the city for some years? Gaga? No, Paul Clay. Which animal has the longest gestation period of any living mammal, with the African species remaining pregnant for an average of 22 months? Elephant. Yes, what term for a treeless, grassy plain in North America is also a French word for meadow? Prairie. It is prairie. Rashid, you had the two passes. The mineral gypsum, widely used in the construction industry, is a hydrated sulfate of calcium. And Alfred Lord Tennyson wrote the elegiac poem in memoriam, A.H.H., published in 1850. So at the end of that round, Rashid, you've got a total of 16 points. Thank you. Next up, let's have Richard again. Richard, you start with 11 points. The score to beat as it stands is 16 points. You've got two and a half minutes on general knowledge. Let's go. Which day of the week is named after the Norse goddess Frigg, the wife of Odin? Friday. Yes, which naturalist wrote the book The Descent of Man, published in 1871, in which he applied his evolutionary theory to the human race? Huxley. No, Charles Darwin. In June 2023, the politician Kyriakos Mitsotakis was elected to serve a second term as Prime Minister of which EU country? Greece. Yes, which filmmaker was nominated for a Best Director Oscar at the age of 26 for the 1941 film Citizen Kane? Orson Miles. Yes, the Matthew of Bristol is a replica ship built to commemorate the 500th anniversary of a voyage which departed the city in 1497, led by which explorer? John Cabot. Yes. What British pop duo comprising Annie Lennox and Dave Stewart had UK number one albums in the 1980s entitled Touch and We Two Are One? Eurasia. No, Eurythmics. Which US state has the two-letter postal abbreviation WV? West Virginia. Yes. What's the title of the television quiz show, first shown in 2017 and presented by Rick Edwards, in which contestants must answer multiple-choice questions, the options for which include an answer that can't feasibly be correct? Impossible. Yes. In the British peerage, what title of nobility is held by the wife of, or a woman of equal rank to, a male marquis? Countess. No, Marchioness. Which author won the 1990 Booker Prize for her novel Possession? Yes, by it. Yes, what musical instrument, a small member of the flute family, has a name that translates from Italian as small? Piccolo. Yes, in June 2023, which German footballer broke the record for the fastest goal in an FA Cup final when he scored for Man City after about 12 seconds? Gundogan. Yes, which African capital city stands at the confluence of the Blue Nile and the White Nile? Cartoon. Yes, what's the first name of the author and food writer whose 2009 cookbook, Miss Dahl's Voluptuous Delights, led to the television series The Delicious Miss Dahl the following year? Lawson. No, Sophie. The formula 4 pi r squared, where r is the radius, is used to calculate the surface area of which solid figure? Sphere. Yes, what stage musical which opened on Broadway in 1960, starring Julie Andrews and Richard Burton, is based on the stories in the book The Once and Future King by T.H. White? The King and I? No, Camelot. What name is given to the nest of a bird of prey, especially an eagle that's built high up? Nest. No, Eerie, in David Hockney's painting, I've started so I'll finish, in David Hockney's painting, Mr and Mrs Clark and Percy, a double portrait of the fashion designers Ozzy Clark and Celia Birtwell with their pet. What animal is Percy? A cat. It is a cat. Richard, you had no passes, and at the end of that round, you have a total of 23 points. <laughs> Let's have Jane again, please. Jane, you start with 11 points. The score to beat as it stands is 23 points, and you've now got two and a half minutes on general knowledge. 
Let's go. What three-word term which can refer to something that's falling apart or in danger of failing is also used to describe a drink, especially Scotch whisky that's served with ice? On the rocks. Yes. What animal is Bambi, the title character of a 1942 Disney animated film? Deer. Yes. The name of which major mountain system in Mexico combines the Spanish words used for mountain range and mother? Sierra Madre. Yes, in June 2023, the businessman Ajay Banga succeeded David Malpass as the president of which global financial institution? The World Bank. Yes, which Australian rock band sought a new permanent lead singer on a 2005 American reality television show following the death of Michael Hutchins eight years earlier? In excess. Yes, which British author wrote the satirical 1932 novel Cold Comfort Farm? Stella Gibbons. Yes, in 1963, the American aviator Betty Miller became the first female pilot to fly solo across which ocean? Atlantic. No, the Pacific, which former New Zealand cricket captain was appointed as the head coach of the England men's test team in May 2022. Richard Hadley. No, Brendan McCollum. A bicentenary celebration is normally held how many years after the event being commemorated? 200. Yes, the 1960 book, The Constitution of Liberty, said to have been a significant influence on the politics of Margaret Thatcher, was written by which Nobel Prize winning economist born in Vienna? Uh, John Maynard Keynes. No, Friedrich Hayek. According to the title of an American television series first shown in 1996, what's the first name of the teenage witch played by Melissa Joan Hart? Sabrina. Yes, what imperial unit of length has a name derived from a Latin word meaning a twelfth part? Meter. No, inch. In the late 18th century, the British physician Edward Jenner discovered that inoculation with cowpox provided effective immunity to what more serious disease? Smallpox. Yes, the River Wensum flows through the centre of which city in East Anglia? Norwich. Yes, what word meaning coagulated is used to describe the thick, rich cream with the consistency of soft butter traditionally made in Devon and Cornwall by heating normal cream to evaporate some of the liquid? Clotted. Yes, the American jazz musician and composer Leon Beiderbecke was better known by what nickname? Fix. Yes, what hereditary two-word title first used in 1818 is held by the leader of the Nizari sect of Ismaili Muslims? Um, pass. Which London art gallery was founded in 1856, ten years after the fifth Earl Stanhope first took the idea to the House of Commons? The National Gallery. No, the National Portrait Gallery. Jane, you had just the one pass. What hereditary two-word title first used in 1818 is held by the leader of the Nizari sect of Ismaili Muslims, the Aga Khan. And at the end of that round, Jane, you've got 23 points. Thank you. And finally, let's have Sarah again, please. So, Sarah, you start with 12 points the score to beat to get through to the Mastermind Grand Final is Richard and Jane's 23 points. And you've now got two and a half minutes on general knowledge. Let's go. What name from a Latin word meaning birth is given to a play usually performed by children at Christmas that tells the story of the birth of Jesus? Nativity. Yes, the Temple of Doom, the Last Crusade and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull are installments in a series of adventure films about which archaeologist title character? Indiana Jones. Yes, the name of what short-legged breed of dog is derived from the Welsh for dwarf dog? Corgi? Yes. On the final night of the 2023 Glastonbury Festival, which veteran British singer headlined the Pyramid stage in a performance billed as his Farewell UK show? Elton John. Yes. In Oliver Twist by Charles Dickens, what's the surname of the beadle of the workhouse where Oliver is kept, who declares the law is a ass? Mr Bumble? Yes. In Greek mythology, Okipity and Salino were two specimens of what creature typically depicted as a monstrous bird-like woman? Harpy? Yes. Which Asian country has a non-rectangular national flag based on two separate pennants? Pass. What explosive chemical compound commonly used to make dynamite but also as a medicinal drug to treat angina has a name that's often abbreviated to the letters NG? Nitroglycerin? Yes. Naranja is the Spanish word for what colour? Orange. Yes. What's the name of the motorbike racer from Northern Ireland who won six consecutive Superbike World Championship titles from 2015 to 2020? Colin McRae. No, Jonathan Ray. What variety of very hot red pepper shares its name with the capital city of French Guiana? 
Kayan? Yes. In 1996, Judith Polgar from Hungary became the first woman to be ranked in the top ten players in the world of which game? Chess? Yes. Which Conservative politician was appointed UK Foreign Secretary in September 2022? Jeremy Hunt? No, James Cleverly. What stage musical based on a 1968 film features the songs Toot Sweets, Me Old Bamboo and Truly Scrumptious? Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Yes, which English town noted for its medieval castle stands at the mouth of the River Tweed where it empties into the North Sea? Balmoral? No, Berwick on Tweed. The actresses Britt Eklund and Lynn Frederick were the second and fourth wives, respectively, of which British actor and member of the comedy team The Goons? Peter Sellers. Yes, what prestigious prizes announced annually by Columbia University in New York City have been awarded since 1917 to recognize outstanding achievement in American journalism, letters and music? Pulitzer Prize. Yes, the town of Jamrud stands at the eastern end. I've started so I'll finish. Stands at the eastern end of which mountain passageway, which runs between Afghanistan and Pakistan and has historically been used as a strategic military route? The Khyber Pass. It is the Khyber Pass. Sarah, you had just a one pass. Which Asian country has a non rectangular national flag based on two separate pennants? Nepal. But Sarah, it didn't matter because at the end of that round, you've done it. You've got 26 points. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> now, let's have a look at the final scores. In fourth place with 16 points, it's Rashid. In joint second place with 23 points each, Richard and Jane. Which means in first place with 26 points, it's Sarah. So she goes through to the grand final. Congratulations to her. If you'd like to be a contender in the next series, please go to our website, bbc.co.uk slash mastermind, and you can follow us at Mastermind Quiz. Join us again next time for more Masterminds. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. I went for Happy Valley because, firstly, it's a brilliant series. And your specialist subject. Happy Valley. But secondly, with having done John Harris in my first round, who's a writer local to me, also Sally Wainwright's a writer that's local to me as well, so there was this lovely local connection. And you've got them all right. 12 points. Thank you. I just can't believe I've got through. And finally, let's have Sarah again, please. To hear my name being called, to get up and get to the chair, it's like, OK, here we go. Keep your nerve. But then... When you're in the chair, you're not counting how many you're getting right. You just think, OK, is this going well? Is this going OK? And you're just trying to stay in the moment. A pair of sunglasses. Yes. The Knezeviches. Yes. Mrs Mukherjee. Yes. So then when he looks at me and says, you've done it, it's like, wow. You've done it. You've got 26 points. <sighs> getting through to the final is fantastic. If I won it, it would just be incredible. I'd be terrified of breaking the glass bowl, but it would be lovely to have it. But let's just see what happens.